My name is Keith Spraker. I'm the Chief Operations Officer for Omega Core Technologies. And again, thank you for attending. Let's get started. We have less than 50 days, uh, and Microsoft was going to end support for Windows XP. It's had a very long run for the last 12 years. Uh, been a good operating system, but uh, the anticipation is that a lot of cyber criminals are going to be hoarding, um, have or have been hoarding all these exploits until they're sure that Windows XP isn't going to be putting out any updates uh, to mitigate those risks. So and if that doesn't convince you, we have a few more reasons here just for you to start thinking about it very seriously. In Windows XP, some of your uh, searches for files could take quite a long time. There wasn't a good indexing feature, and uh, some of those things could even take several hours to search an entire computer. In Windows 7 and Windows 8, they've drastically improved that. Uh, literally, not only can we search for file names, uh, we can search for portions of file names, we can also search for contents within those files. So if we have an email that says Bob in it, and we're looking for that email, we can search for that just utilizing our search box within the Windows operating system. And even in Windows 8, they've even improved it even more over Windows 7 by making it even faster. The next point to talk about is really is cost efficiency. Um, because of the lack of support from the primary software vendor being Microsoft, you're going to find it to, to get really expensive to maintain and support. Text costs, your uh, tech services are going to increase significantly and because of the fact that uh, Microsoft is not going to be supporting you, you're going to end up having to pay your software or correction your IT vendor even more to help you. Uh, because we can't even get support from Microsoft after that. So it's going to be, you know, if any issue hasn't been found and we have to figure it out, it's just going to be a lot of extra time for us to resolve those issues for you. The next is just opening up new possibilities for you with additional software capabilities. Windows 7 and Windows 8, they'll run almost any software that's currently Windows compatible. There's compatibility modes, there's different ways that we can make that function. The other problem is that some time in the future, and once this support ends, hardware device drivers won't be written for Windows XP. So if you want that fancy new multi-function machine to do your printing, faxing, and all that with your older Windows XP machine, it may not even work with Windows XP. So it's time to really think about moving. Improved performance is probably one of the biggest points, and uh, I really want to hang on this one for a moment because it's uh, it's truly drastic. Um, the applications within Windows take quite a bit. The boot time in Windows XP takes quite a bit, and they improved that pretty well in Windows 7. And in Windows 8, they've improved it even more, especially boot times, uh, open application times, switching from applications, even hibernation and sleep modes both recover so much faster in the new operating system. So what does that mean to you? Your staff is going to be able to work more efficiently. They're going to get more work done in the same amount of time. Improved productivity means a better bottom line for your business. More browsing options. With the uh, Windows XP stops supporting anything after Windows Explorer 9, you'll notice a lot of websites will have you know best viewed in 10, best viewed in 11. Unfortunately, you won't be able to download and utilize those browsers in Windows XP. Both Windows 7 and Windows 8 support all the latest browsers, not only from Microsoft but from other vendors as well, and that gives you a little more options in some of the new web 2.0 options and some of the uh, fancier new websites that are using uh, different technologies these days that the older browsers just don't support. So you may even cut yourself off from some parts of the internet. Increased productivity. Not only is it faster to give you more productivity, the, uh, the stability of the operating systems themselves have improved drastically over Windows XP. 
virtually eliminate your downtime from a desktop perspective. Also, we talked about earlier those new search features. Again, keywords in documents. You go to your network drive or you go to your storage where your devices are, where your files are, and you're looking for that one document that has that one word in it, widget. And all you have to do is search for widget, and it will go in and it will find all those documents that contain that word for you. So again, a drastic improvement over the search functionality um, equals increased productivity for you and your users. In my mind, from a uh, IT vendor's perspective, this is probably the best improvement overall um, beyond Windows XP is improved security. The introduction of a lot of features within the operating system themselves itself provides protection from malicious software. It provides built-in backup features to prevent your data loss and protect your PCs. A lot of these advanced security functions still to this day are not available in XP, making it much more susceptible to malicious software. In the past, as an IT provider, we had to do a lot of work uh, within XP itself, again, increasing those support costs to keep XP secure, whereas right out of the box, Windows 7 and Windows 8 are secure. Um, newer, the newer supported browsers as well are quite a bit more secure understanding a lot of the threats these days are coming through phishing attacks in your email or even just innocuous searches on the internet which end up redirecting you to malicious software sites and most of the time we don't even know we're clicking on them again Windows 7 and Windows 8 newer browsers they have the security built in to protect you from that again this goes back to that productivity slide again we're really improving on the productivity of your users by utilizing the newer operating systems. This is a big one I'm sure quite a few of us have already experienced. I know I have. Um, it's only a matter of time both hardware and software vendors are going to stop supporting XP. Again, many already have. Many of my clients have already come to me sending me, my, sending me notifications that they will no longer be supporting Windows XP. I got a notification today from my own software vendor that I use to manage our company and it said, you know, guess what guys, we're no longer going to support it. When April comes along, we're no longer going to help you out anymore. And that goes back to all of our previous slides about why this is going to cost more, why this is going to reduce our productivity. Um, you know, staying on XP is, is definitely not a good idea at this time. Again, you know, less than 50 days the support is going to end. Simpler troubleshooting. Uh, if you're an IT person, if you are a uh, you know just the savvy person in the office that likes to help out, in the past you you know sometimes you needed someone like Omega Core to come out and help you because XP could have been difficult and very frustrating to find problems with it. Within Windows 7 uh, and Windows 8. There's a lot of built-in troubleshooters. You notice I can't connect to the network. You click it, there's a button that says repair. Click on it. Eight out of ten times, that may fix your issue. Um, multimedia issues, if things aren't working properly, quite often you just click help me or fix this or the repair button and you get automatic issues that are resolved for you. They've been integrated a lot more smart technology into both Windows 7 and Windows 8 that really helps in uh, improving the ability to just resolve simple problems that uh, you know really come up quite often for a lot of users and all you have to do is click on them and you're fixed. This is where uh, a lot of items come in that, uh, again, go back into that security, the reliability, that increased productivity, the new features here, some of which are represented on the slide here. And uh, a lot of those features, we've talked about some of them, are all in relation to increasing your productivity. Windows 7, similar to Windows XP, Windows 8, quite a bit different. But again, with Windows 
they've put a lot of familiarity back into it. A little bit of a learning curve there to go to the new operating systems, but that's where some of these new features come back in. Those search features we talked about, they're intelligent. They remember what things were called in Windows XP, so if you type those in, you'll be able to find those features in the newer versions of the operating system. That makes that learning curve flatter. It also makes the ramp up time for your end users to come up much quicker. So some of these new features will really dramatically help you in increasing your productivity, keeping your systems up, keeping your systems going, and not to mention just your user um, morale. Uh, you know, it can get very frustrating with an older operating system when errors can't be fixed or you can't find things or your vendor's not supporting you. It can get frustrating from a user's end perspective. So that's another nice way to increase your employee morale, increase your employee productivity, and just help your business run better and smoother overall.